I was just watching a YouTube clip on Metallica when they played to like 1.5 million people in Russia. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's, is that accurate? 1.5 yeah, million it is, people? Man. Did you, have you seen that video? I it's, saw. Uh, I saw something on social media where it was like. This is what 1.5 million people looks like, and then swipe, and then this is what 100,000 looks like, and then wow. swipe, and this is like what 1,000 looks like. Right. And and I swiped all the way through it, but then I went back to the 1.5 million people, and it didn't look any different than the 100,000. I I kind of didn't because you couldn't it's, set it, all those people into frame. It's <laughs> pretty crazy. How right? are they? How are they? Just ticket sales. It was the first really big heavy band that had ever played Russia it was 91 91 91 because it was right after the Black Album came out Metallica by that time was arguably the biggest band on the planet because remember Guns was out at that time and they were doing Usual Illusion so Metallica and this is before the Guns and Metallica tour that they did they got they're out there is before James got lit up is before the explosion hit him oh shit yeah so it was right in that time frame they're the biggest band in the world, in the universe at that point. Every, at, at, up to that point, the, I get, I'd say the most modern show that had ever been played in Moscow was the Peace Festival that happened in 89, which mm. was Motley, Bon Jovi, uh, Cinderella, um, God, I mean, it was like fucking Skid Row was there, uh, Scorpions, and they were doing the, 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 um, Motley was yeah. claiming they were sober. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was well, and that was one of the reasons why they were doing it was to to promote that. And yet, then you, okay, Ozzy was on it, you know. And so, and Zach tells all these horror stories about the plane ride over, where everybody was fucking just shit faced, dude. And you're just like, oh my god. But I think that was the most modern show that had been played. Because remember, the curtain was kind of still on and off mm-hmm. at that point. Like yeah, eighty-seven. It, yeah, so eighty, well, eighty-nine. The wall came down. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> ninety-one, Metallica hits. Well, They're the biggest band in the fucking world. Everybody and their mom is going to that show. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it wasn't like it wasn't like even ten years ago where Russia was kind of a spot on your tour. Like you did Russia. I've played Moscow, I've, Moscow yeah. many times. You know, not anymore. But at the time, nobody did it. So word got out, and think about how big Russia is. You're going to fucking make your way to that show. You're going to get to that show. So 1.5, honestly, in my opinion, maybe a small number. Because there, I mean, there could have been fucking, it could have been like the original Woodstock, where they just stopped taking tickets, and it was just everybody and their fucking mom coming over you know the you know, junior's farm they're just like we're going to fucking see this shit yeah it's so good man do you like shopping on amazon i do and good news is steve-o's butt wipes for your butthole are available on amazon and if you want a real bundle of a deal you can get steve-o's hot sauce for your butthole plus steve-o's butthole destroyer and steve-o's butt wipes for your butthole it's the butthole bundle available on amazon right now yeah dude